All right, time to take a look at the portable monitor. So we can see we got a nice case on here with kind of a cool texture pattern on it. That covers both sides. And we also got this neat little thing in here, so that is going to help to create our stand. So we got our manual. We got, what's interesting, we have two USB-C to USB-C cords. We got a USB-C to USB-A. And we have an HDMI to mini HDMI. And then the last thing is our power adapter. So this is USB-C. And it says it's good for 100 to 240 volts. That's good for international or domestic. And that's good for 3 amps at 5 volts or 1.67 amps at 12 volts. So on the left side, we got an audio jack. We got our scroll wheel, which is also a push button. We got our power button. On the bottom, we have two speakers. So we can actually use this to pump audio out directly. Then on the right side, we got our mini HDMI ports. We can use that cable that it came with to plug directly into an HDMI device. We also have two USB-C ports and a micro USB port. And it says that this is the OTG or on-the-go port. On the back, we got a couple of screw holes. So we can use that if we want to connect it to a VESA mount adapter. So if we want to put this thing on the wall, we can do that. I'm going to start by plugging in power. And I'm going to use the mini HDMI port to connect to the laptop. Cool. So right now I've got this set to mirroring, but if I want to, I could change that. So let's go to display settings. And instead of duplicate, I'm going to go to extend. And looking on here, this is my external monitor, so I can scroll my mouse over here. So you can kind of see it right around here. Well, one thing you'll notice is that this one is actually bigger than my main laptop monitor. And the main reason for that is because the resolution is higher. So this is actually a 2560 by 1440 resolution monitor. So that is a very nice high definition monitor. And one thing I do really like about it is as soon as I plugged it in, it was ready to go. I didn't have to worry about doing anything. It just works. I can change the inputs just by hitting the power button on the side. So that kind of doubles as our selector. So I got C1, C2, and HDMI. Right now it's on auto select, which is exactly how I want it. And if I hit the scroll wheel, I can change all the settings. So the brightness is currently at five. You can bring that up to 10. So it does make it a little bit brighter. Actually, that makes it almost look better than my regular laptop screen. So that's nice. Then we got contrast, eco. So we got standard in game. So if we need this thing to be faster, we can go ahead and put that on game. I'm gonna keep it on standard just because I usually like the lighting profile for that. We got DCR. Then we can change the color temperature. So right now it's at 6500K. We can change that to 9300K. So if you want this to be a lot uh, bluer, you can do that. I like the 6500K. It makes it feel a little warmer. We also have RGB and then we have user selected. So we could just change that however we want it. But I'm just going to go with the 6500. We can also make low blue. So if you're worried about blue light, like if you have to go to bed shortly after you're going to be playing on here, we can actually use this to reduce the amount of blue that comes out of here to make that a little nicer for you. Then we got volume for the speakers. We got mute, language, uh, ultra HDR. Oh, wow. That's crazy. And then back to input. So yeah. That is a very nice second monitor. And for me, once I get used to using two monitors, like, I can't go back. You can see how much smaller that made that just because the resolution is so much higher. That is a very nice second monitor. I'm definitely going to be using this. So yeah, overall, if you want to upgrade your workstation, that is a fantastic way of doing it.